Hello everybody, I'm Norman with Rockets Gardens. Um, today we're just going to be doing a simple video about mounting orchids onto a palm tree outside. So we're going to get our orchid. You can see this one's uh, going to be a Vanda. I'm not sure what the color is yet, but as you can zoom in here, you're going to see the nice new green roots. And that's going to be very crucial because those are going to help start mounting. Now, most orchids that you find are gonna be epiphytes, which means that they grow in trees naturally. Um, you can see I've already started a couple here. Uh, they're just small enough, so I didn't really need to use any twine. They're just, uh, these are dendrobiums, they're really, really forgiving. Pretty small. But generally what we're gonna be doing, this, since this is a bigger one, we're gonna be tying it up. So we got our sphagnum moss that's been moistened a little bit. This is gonna help us give it some cushion, pull a little bit of moisture. What we're gonna do is we'll put it right on the back of this. We're gonna find a spot. We got our organic twine. This stuff I like using because it's pretty biodegradable. So if it slowly deteriorates over time and falls off the tree, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just doing a simple tie. You do a bow tie, you can do a square knot, you do a bow line, as long as it's nice and tight. And that's effectively it. So we got a nice good contact surface right here with the nice new green roots. These are gonna go down, down the tree, up the tree. And then later on, probably like a few months from now, once these root systems starts to get more established, I'll cut the twine and they should just be ready to go hands-free for that point. All right, so made a solution of fertilizer, orchid fertilizer. I have myself just a regular spray bottle and I'm using the, uh, the Jack's Classic Orchid Special 301010. It's just a, pretty much a orchid fertilizer. Now I mixed it at half solution into a gallon, like a jug of water than normal. Get them nice and moist. Might be able to see some of them start to turn more green, which means they're still good. All right, so we're done here with the Vanda. Uh, Vandas are pretty uh, forgiving. They do like a little bit of shade. They can handle a little bit of sun, but uh, each orchid is gonna require a little bit of sun or a little bit of less sun. So uh, do your research, do your homework to see how much uh, sunshine you're gonna get on the orchid, because too much could be bad. Uh, we have good airflow in here, a lot of shade, which is gonna help a lot. And that's pretty much it. All right, well, hopefully that, hopefully that helped. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, come visit Rockledge Gardens.